Hey Taurus, welcome to my channel. So this is going to be a love reading for the sign of Taurus. So if you're a Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, or if you have a stellium in Taurus, this reading is going to be for you. Keep in mind, this is going to be a general reading, so it might not resonate with everyone. If it doesn't, let it fly. Don't try to force the message. Also, don't let this reading take anything from you. Now, if you do resonate with this reading, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Also, keep in mind, energy is fluid. Roles can get reversed, so take how it resonates. All right. We're going to take that now. Okay. Well, this person feels like you have secrets right now. You are secret. You have secrets or you are hiding something or you are holding back from them on purpose. Like you have some hidden agenda as to why you are holding back from them or you are being very so stubborn or stingy with your energy. You have a hidden agenda here. So this person feels like whatever you are doing, however your energy is right now, there has to be a motive behind it. And you will not, you are not the kind of person who will do something without thinking it through or without having any motive. Like if you don't have any uh, motive, you will not do something. So you are very calculative kind of a person. This is how this person sees you. For some of you, this person also what I'm getting is this person is uh, they they think that you are whatever happened between the both of you, you are just blowing it out of proportion. So if the problem is a small one, you are seeing it as a big problem. So even if that even if that problem is like something they did, they did something and it's just it's a this person thinks that it's a very small thing that they did. And you are just the one who's blowing out of blowing that out of proportion and thinking that they have made a huge mistake so for some of you this person might uh, feel like you're trying to guilt trip them sort of an energy eight of swords Seven of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Ace of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Could be dealing with an Aries because even Aries got the same card in the first row itself. Um, anyways, although that was a different deck altogether. Yeah, this person feels like eight of swords. They definitely feel like you're overthinking. You're overthinking about what has happened here. It's not that big. This is like someone who wants to convince you that it's not that big. It's not that big of a deal. That's not how it happened. But you are just seeing it how you want to see it. It's almost like this person thinks that you are seeing it how you want to see it. The truth is far from that. But some of you, this person feels like you might have other options. That's the reason why you are, you have new love. You have someone new in your life. You are already getting attention from someone new. That's what you are trying to hide. That's what you are keeping from them. And that's why you are just acting like whatever they have done. It's like uh, they, have, they have done a grave mistake. Because because you have someone else because you're getting attention from someone else because you have someone new that's the reason why you are trying to find fault in them so that's your hidden motive or hidden agenda that for some of you this is what this person thinks So this person thinks that you either you are unable to see the truth or you don't want to see the truth. Because 
you have other options for some of you this person feels like you are really confusing them no matter what you are doing you are <clears throat> i don't know what happened you're really confusing them It's also this energy of this person uh, they think that humans like they are they are in this energy of well human we are i'm a human being i make mistakes i have made a mistake but taurus is treating it like they have i have done really really something wrong something horrible and they think that you are unrealistic in a way lovers could be dealing with a gemini oh the star at the bottom of the deck and the emperor wow temperance so many major arcanas star emperor temperance you could be dealing with aquarius aries sagittarius and then we have the seven of swords here hmm they definitely feel a very strong connection with you star and the lovers they feel a very strong connection with you for some of you this person is feeling like they need to be patient here they just need to keep being patient and somehow it's, it's gonna work out or somehow you're just gonna like for some of you this person thinks that the ball is in your court you're going to make the decision here so all they can do is just be patient and see what decision you're making because this person wants to heal this connection they definitely want to heal this connection they feel a strong connection with you they want to heal this with the star and the temperance for some of you it's very possible this person feels like you have a very healing effect on them you are a healer you have a very healing effect on them that's the reason why this person wants you back because both of these are feminine energies i mean on the depiction here on the cards and this is a masculine energy here. so yeah you might have had a healing effect so some of you could be healers that's the reason why this person is like they really want you but yeah seven of swords here this is not this is someone who's not given up they've not given up on the uh on strategizing or no matter how much you're closed off you are towards them this person is still strategizing they're still strategizing they're still planning they still are up to something here And it's pretty simple for this person that they want to heal this. So they are trying to find a way to heal it. Because you are clearly not looking for a way. For some of you, this person could be trying to extract information here as well. That could be through someone else. This person will try to extract information. If you have any common friends, colleagues, co-workers, what have you. Uh, this person will try to extract information about you. Like what is going on with you. Because with the three of wands in reverse, this person really feels like they don't know, they can't see things clearly. So they need to have a different perspective. The three of wands in reverse, four of cups in reverse. Yeah, world in reverse. They definitely feel unfinished business with you. You could be dealing with fixed signs, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius. But look at that. Oh, this is five of cups in reverse, not four of cups in reverse. Five of cups in reverse. Yeah, they want to get out of this funk. They want to get out of the situation here. They don't want to be sad, depressed, missing you, feeling miserable without you. And right now, this person, even if they are strategizing and planning, they, they have not yet come up with a plan here with the three of wands in reverse. And that could be because this person is like, they are not sure about what is going on with you. They feel very confused. They feel like you have alienated them almost or you have pushed them away. There's an there's a fog, there's an illusion you are creating and that is confusing them. So no matter what you're doing, this person does see you as someone who is, you are, a, you, you are someone who's, uh, you do things very strategically.
six of pentacles the higher of hand that's you could be dealing with another taurus yeah this person wants equal give and take with the six of pentacles they want equal give and take for some of you, this person wants to be the only option in your life. That's what I'm getting with the Seven of Cups and the Hierophant. This person knows that you have options, but they want to be the only option in your life. It's almost like this person wants them to be the only one who you share your secrets with, who you share everything with. They don't want uh, that place. They don't want anyone else to be in that place. They want to be the one who, like, everything you, you share everything with them them only so this person could be getting a little bit territorial here hmm. seven of pentacles knight of wands justice could be dealing with a libra The Fool, the Sun at the bottom of the deck, Aries, Leo energy. Yeah, they want to be happy again. The Sun in this particular deck looks very similar to the Three of Cups kind of energy. So yeah, this person, uh, they want reunion. For some of you, this person is going to uh, take that risk here with the Fool. They are going to take the risk simply because they would much rather be happy with you and like at least try before they fail because they're already unhappy and miserable and they want to get out of that unhappy miserable kind of energy and they also don't want you to leave them they also don't want you to find someone else so they will be in that energy of well i i need to give this a try i need to take that risk because i don't want taurus to be happy with someone else i don't want someone else to make taurus happy and for some of you, this person is going to take the risk with you simply because they're really fearing here that someone else is going to take their place and make you happy. You know, like they're leaving. It's almost like there's an empty space in your life. Uh, there's, an, there's an empty space in your life. And if they don't do anything soon enough, someone else is going to take up that space and instead going to make you happy. Queen of Wands, okay, Nine of Swords, Ace of Wands, yeah, there's a lot of passion with this person, no wonder this person, Queen of Wands, Ace of Wands, this person really wants to get it on with you, if you were uh, sexually intimate with this person, they really miss those times here, they keep thinking about those times, especially at night, this person really just keeps uh, thinking about all those good times here but yeah this this is someone who has a lot of passion and desire for you with the queen of wands and the ace of wands no wonder this person is getting territorial no wonder i got that energy of someone who's being like that i got that possessive energy or someone who's like m wanting to mark their territory taurus just needs to be with me taurus should be with me taurus should share all the secrets only with me i should be the most important person in taurus's life and if i leave that space long enough someone else might come in and sweep Taurus off their feet. So they don't want that to happen. This person is really like feeling miserable and losing sleep with the nine of swords. This is someone who's very in a stress. They are in a stressful energy. 
and that's the reason why this person could be going on in their head it's not it's not like i did something wrong it's, it's it was not a big deal taurus is blowing out of proportion taurus is thinking that i'm i'm a bad person it was it was just a mistake i'm a human being i can make mistakes Taurus is being too much or being too hard on me. Death. Okay. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Hanged man. Two major arcanas. Four of Wands. So you 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 see this person as some like yeah you could be dealing with an Aries definitely. You know that this person will they make you very happy or they are going to make you very happy. That's sort of energy. Or you felt a lot of happiness with this person. There was a lot of good times here. And for some of you, you know that this person wants to be with you as well. Relationship commitment they want with you. But you see this person as someone who's doing nothing here. They're doing nothing. You also feel like this person needs to uh, change certain things about themselves. Could be anything. It's, it is going to be different for different people. They need to evolve. They need to change. They need to let something go in their life. And they're not willing to do that. But at the same time, it's something that is non-negotiable for you. And that could be anything. So say, for example, this person has a particular habit that really is not good or healthy. And you want that, you want this person to work on that change that let go of that habit but this person is like unwilling to change themselves instead this person is making up excuses they are not doing anything they are just planning and plotting and seeing and not doing anything so you could be a little bit frustrated with this person here for some of you For some of you, you're, you're very sure about one thing. Like you see this person, if this person doesn't keep doing anything here, they, they just keep stalling, they just don't do anything, then it's over. And that could be immaturity for some of you with the page of wands. Could be someone who is not like serious about life or serious uh, about their finances you know just not serious in life six of swords okay seven of pentacles four of pentacles Two of Cups. You have feelings for this person. You have deep feelings for this person. Two of Cups, Seven of Swords. The world in reverse. So it's not just this person feeling unfinished business with you. For some of you, you feel unfinished business with this person. You feel like this is not really over between the both of you. And that is because with the Two of Cups, you really love this person. You really care about this person. And you know this person has feelings for you as well. But we have the Seven of Swords. So you do feel... Okay. For some of you, you feel like you, you can't trust this person. Or you shouldn't trust this person. This person is... There's something about this person that really like makes you feel very off. Like your intuition could be telling that there's something this person is doing. Or you, you might exactly know what this person is doing that is not really good, not really healthy. If they want to be with you, they have to be honest with you. They can't sneak around. They can't make excuses. They can't, uh, you know, like run away from taking accountability. They can't do any of those things. So, yeah, you want long term with this person with the seven of pentacles. Four and seven of pentacles, three of pentacles in the mix. You want to work out with this, work things out with this person. You want to have long term with this person. But you're, you're holding back from this person because you feel like this person, until if they do not fix themselves, if they do not work on themselves, if they do not take accountability 
of whatever they have done or don't change their ways because we still had the seven of swords energy here the seven of swords did uh, energy did come out here but you are very sure yes i do want them but if they don't change themselves i don't think i'll be giving this person a chance you want this person to show effort you want this person to show something here show they are serious show they can change show they can be different and this could be very possible like you have asked this person a lot of times like this is not how you do it or this is this this action of yours is really hurting me or this is you need to change this about yourself because this is not how you treat me anything for that matter you could have already said this person more than once but this person could be just like they were not paying attention really or they just thought that it's not a big deal because it's very possible whatever this person was doing is really was hurting you but this person just kept taking it very casually very in a, in a like non serious way but it is something serious for you this could be a very laid back person or a very lazy person as well like oh why do i have to change why do i have to do this why do i have to do that why can't just it be easy why can't just things be smooth why can't just things go the way i want it to go for some of you this person might feel like you expect a lot out of them or you're expecting a lot out of them and it's like put, putting too much pressure on them <laughs> like you are putting too much pressure on them because you're expecting a lot was at the bottom of the deck okay let's let's keep that back oh i put it in the wrong direction okay let's see two of swords King of Wands. Oh, look at that King of Wands. So we have the Queen of Wands, King of Wands. You are very attracted to this person. You are very attracted to this person. And if this person is missing the good, old, the passionate times between the both of you, you are missing that as well. King of Wands, Queen of Wands. You both are very attracted to each other, and you both have a lot of passion and heat for each other here. But you are just trying to keep that all of that in check and not not just be. Um, not just over indulge or not just give in you're trying to stand your ground here i'm seeing the seven of wands kind of uh, i'm seeing the seven of wands here so you're trying to stand your ground and not just give in but yeah you do have a lot of passion for this person you feel very passionately about them you're very attracted towards them you feel like yes this is your person here the chemistry could be insane between the both of you sparks and everything Two and six of swords, four of swords in the mix. So for some of you, you both see dreams about each other. You both are very um, intuitively or telepathically connected to each other. Since we did have the lovers and we had the nine of swords in this person's energy, so you both are very intuitively or telepathically connected to each other. But it's like two and six of swords talks about silence, non-action. So as much passion as you have, as much as you want to move to calmer waters, you are trying to hold yourself back. And this person is taking that as a sign that you might be interested in someone else, or you don't, you don't want to forgive them, or you are being too hard on them. You are demanding too much of them, asking too much. But for some of you, since we do have the magician here, Gemini and Virgo, you could be trying to manifest this person back. Now, whether you're doing it consciously or subconsciously doesn't matter, but you could be trying to manifest, like you are manifesting this person back. Oh, look 
at that, the Empress. That's you. And the Ace of Pentacles, King of Cups. Yeah, see that Seven of Wands. I already saw that Seven of Wands energy here. Yeah, it could be dealing with the Taurus Libra. Well, this person definitely wants you. The Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. They are going to take that action since we have the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person will do that. Because they care for you. They have feelings for you. So as much as this person is like, no, why do I have to change? Why I have to do this, do that? With the Ten of Swords here, this person will soon realize that if they don't do something about this, if they don't actually change or if they don't actually let go or transform or change that habit, then they might as well say goodbye to you. They might as well just let you slip out of their hands. They might as just as well give that place to someone else. So, yeah, and look at that. We have the Ace of Cups as well here. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups. And the Empress. And they have deep feelings for you with the King of Cups. So we, I also saw the Queen of Cups. Uh, just below that Magician, there was the Queen of Cups. So King of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. A lot of fire and water, which is a like, very good combination. That means a lot of, it's just not passion. Just passion is never good because it, it's not going to stand the test of time. There's a lot of feelings this person has for you like you both have feelings for each other page of wands Justice at the bottom of the deck, two of wands, okay. So scales are going to be balanced here. The scales are going to be balanced. One more card. Oh, look at that, ten of pentacles. Even Aries got the ten of pentacles as the outcome. And there was a lot of similar cards in the Aries reading as well. And in the Aries reading, I felt a strong Taurus uh, present so yeah you could be dealing with an aries or for some of you you're a taurus and but you are aries and vedic astrology something like that <clears throat> i don't know what's happening with my throat but yeah ten of pentacles and the justice mm. for some of you this person could have been married to um you know like they they are married and that's the thing this person needs to let go of they might have also promised you that they are going to they are not a happily married or this things are ending or they are already separated the divorce they might have promised you things here but they have not exactly kept those promises they have might have stalled you like yes i will i will like it's already over and i'm going to let go of that person i'm going to let go of this and we are going to be together this that but it's just like you ended up becoming a third party and this ended up becoming a affair sort of a thing. And you want more than that. You want commitment. Who just wants to be the other man or woman. Right? So that's what this person might need to let go. And you feel like this person is not taking any action. They're not doing anything here. They need to do something. So that's the reason why you're holding back because you don't want to be strung along or you don't want to be treated, as I said, who wants to be the other man or woman for forever? You don't want that. So you are, you are in that energy of, well, if you do really care about me, as you say, if you do want to be with me, show me. It's that simple. So yeah, for some of you, if that's the case, this person was married, then yes, with the page of wands, justice and the ten of pentacles, this person, justice and ten of pentacles, that is like someone separating. Someone going through that divorce, someone going through that separation, finalizing things here, not just saying stuff for the sake of saying it. Not just uh, coming back to flirt with you. Yeah, three of pentacles. Magician. Tower. Yeah, this person could be ending things there. 
Yeah, see, look at that. Eight of Cups. Someone is going to walk away from whatever they need to walk away from, need to walk away from because they have feelings. I'm just randomly cutting the deck. Two and Eight of Cups, Six of Cups in the mix. Six of Cups, yes, this can be a soulmate connection. Or the Six of Cups can also talk about this person needing to walk away from things from the past. Okay. Yeah, look at that. Passion. Insane chemistry. Yeah, reconciliation, second chance. And death, letting something go. If they want the second chance with you, if they want to reignite things with you, they actually need to um, let go of something here. If they don't let go of something from the past, there's no second chances. This person will realize that soon enough if they haven't already realized that. Yeah, cloudy judgment. That's the seven of cups kind of energy. That's the reason why this person might feel like what a, like you are putting a lot of pressure on them. Okay, these are too much, too many. Yeah, look at that. The other woman. What did I say? Yeah, beginnings, starting over, confessions. Yeah, they will, they will take that risk here because the possibility of what they can have with you is too big for this person to just ignore it. Okay. Okay, bottom of the deck is daydream. I can't get you off my mind all day, every day. I always wonder what you are doing and how you're feeling about me. Meet me in your dreams. What did I say? Meet me in your dreams tonight so we can start making our future together in reality. I want to build a strong, solid foundation for us. Okay. Hmm. You also have sorry here. Okay. But let's get that the card. protected i will always protect you my love even even if we are together or not at this time my higher self is always with you i will always protect you and the love we share i will keep boundaries around my heart that the only you can cross okay i will have boundaries around my heart that only you can cross they really need to fix the grammatical mistakes but anyways hmm yeah so this person feels that connection with you with the protected and they're hoping that by the time they can fix things or let go of things you will not give you will not let anyone else in your heart all right well that's your reading taurus i hope you found some clarity through this reading i'll see you guys in your next reading until then take care guys bye bye